Hi, in this tutorial we are going to make an ink blot transition effect as an automatic preset in After Effects. The reason that presets are just better than just simply applying the effect is twofold. First, you might want to actually use the effect again and you don't want to do it over. Also, once you've actually used the effect, you might want to adjust the timing and presets are just great for that. The first step is just to get on YouTube and search for ink effect and find what works for you. There are no shortage of these videos, so just take your time finding one. Once you find a video you like, go up to the video's address and then delete the www dot and then in its place type GV. It stands for Get Video. Now if there is a copyright block or if the owner of the video doesn't want you to use it, you won't be able to with this method. So this is also a really good way to avoid any kind of copyright claims. But it looks like this one's good to go. So just scroll down to the resolution, whatever you like, and click download. So now it's time for the After Effects part of this After Effects tutorial. What we're actually going to go over is done in two parts. First, just how to do the actual effect, and then come over here. I'm going to go in to show how to do the sort of the showcase. This is the video that I just presented, one effect after the other. First thing you want to do is just pick your first little clip here, push S to size it up. Then I'm going to get my clip number two, again, S. And I push the S and use these numbers down here so that I don't accidentally make things wider than they need to be. Now it's time to pick uh, an ink effect to work with. So this one video has multiple effects to choose from. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick one that I like. So the first thing to do is just to speed up the effect. I need it to be, a, well, definitely under two seconds. So just right click on there, click on time, time stretch, and I'm going to make it three times faster. So I'm going to take this number down to 30. That actually looks pretty good. This is where I want the effect to start. Go to my little toggle down here to zoom in. So the name of the game in this effect is to go from all white to all black. So I can manually make that all white. Left click on it and then push the letter P. And then click the little stopwatch here. Then push S. That goes to scale. And click on little stopwatch there. Now whenever I move or make it bigger, it'll automatically add it to a timeline. I take it all the way to the end, and I'm going to make it bigger, and I'm going to move it. And I'm just going to keep making adjustments until I have the entire thing be all black. Right about there. goes from all white to all black. Then click on the second clip, which is right here, and then down here where it says none, actually the first one to say none, just left click on there, and then click on Luma Inverted Matte, and then it says right here, some ink splatter. And it's done. Now the reason that I like to set these up as separate parent presets is, let's say, just for the sake of argument, I wanted this clip to be sooner down the line. For example, if I wanted it to be about there, basically about a second or two completely done. With this preset system, it takes literally that long to fix.
and the effect happens two seconds later. Now to do this as a showcase effect, meaning you would do the same effect over and over again, it's more an issue of organization more than anything. Click on your second clip, push Control shift d and what that does is it just edits the clip. Then I'm going to click on my ink splatter effect, push Control d to duplicate it, bring it up, bring it over so it's editing the right spot, then I have to click on None because this doesn't have an effect attached to it. Click on my next clip. S And then I push None, Luma Invert Mat, and that's how you do this. If you have any thoughts or comments, of course, feel free to ask. To keep up with new tutorials and animated videos, smash that subscribe button like you mean it, and thanks for watching.